Hello and welcome to another EVG on the tube presentation. Today we're going to talk about the brand new EVGA 790i SLI FTW digital version of this motherboard. Uh, this board has a digital PWM compared to the previous motherboard which had an analog PWM. Upon opening up the box on the digital version of this motherboard, you'll notice a unique visual installation guide. This is a quick fold out guide that shows you everything you need to get the board up and running as quickly as possible and it also includes a one to one scale photo of the motherboard. For those of you who want a more detailed version, EVG also includes the, an 80 page manual which has everything you need from installation to postcode errors. Some of the features of the digital version of this motherboard include 100% solid state capacitors, Onboard power and reset button, and the reset button actually has a hard drive LED indicator. Onboard clear CMOS, so if you ever need to clear your CMOS, it's quite easy to do so. Has a total of nine SATA ports. You have two at the bottom, two right angled here, four up at the top, and one here. Onboard LED indicator, which shows postcode activity, etc. For slot assignment, you have two PCI Express 1X slots, two PCI slots, and three by 16 slots. So if you have, uh, that would be for your graphics card, or if you have three way SLI, you'd fill all three of those slots. For memory, this motherboard supports up to a total of eight gigabytes of DDR3 memory and can support a frequency of up to two gigahertz when running in dual channel mode. And when you run it in dual channel mode, make sure you run it in the black slots. That would be these ones right here. So what makes this board different from the previous EVGA 790i FTW motherboard is they included digital power management. Uh, what that means is more stable power, more efficient power, so better overclocking. Also you'll notice right above the CPU socket a very small dip switch and this is to select your power management mode, there's VRM11 and VRM10 mode. For those of you who run more recent processors like the Core 2 or Core 2 Quad, you want to leave that right where it is. If you run older CPUs like uh, Pentium 4 or Pentium D, uh, you'd want to switch this to the other location. So now I have my EVGA 790i FTW digital board up and running. And by the way, I have mounted this to the EVGA test bench for more information on this product. You can check out EVGA's website. So I have uh, this board running on a Intel QX9650 alongside with an EVGA GTX 280 and 2GB of Corsair memory. So now we're in the system BIOS and we're going to do some quick overclocking on my Intel QX9650. Keep in mind the default frequency for the CPU is 3GHz. So the first thing I'm going to do is head over to the frequency slash voltage control on the right hand side. And I want to go into the FSB and memory config. In here the first thing I'm going to do is change my FSB memory clock mode to linked and synced at 1600 megahertz FSB slash memory. So this means my FSB runs at 1600 megahertz and my memory runs at 1600 megahertz. So you can see now that I have increased my CPU frequency to 3.6 gigahertz. Next we're going to go into system voltages and I'm going to turn off VDroop. This is a new EVG exclusive feature that allows you to disable VDroop for even higher overclocking. And I'm going to increase my CPU core voltage to 1.4 volts. Remember when increasing your CPU core voltage you want to take small increments as this will drastically heat up your CPU. The last thing I'm going to do is go into system clocks and since this is an extreme edition processor I have the ability to unlock my multiplier and I'm going to increase this to 10x. So now you can see my clock is 4 gigahertz. Go ahead and save and exit. And the system is now booting back up at 4 gigahertz. So it's really that simple to take my CPU from 3 gigahertz to 4 gigahertz, a full 1 gigahertz overclock. Also, EVGA includes a nice bonus when you register your 790i FTW motherboard. 
you get to download the EVGA exclusive 790i SLI FTW Precision Skin for the EVGA Precision Overclocking Utility. So as shown here, the EVGA 790i SLI FTW digital version of this motherboard certainly goes for the win and beyond. For more information on this product, please visit the EVGA website at www.evga.com. For more overclocking tips and tricks, visit the EVGA forums at forums.evga.com. Thanks again and see you next time.